I have a problem. An addiction. It fills my thoughts and my imagination. I find myself constantly searching for the rush, racing to catch the next high. It's this white water. It has a grip on me that I can't shake. I run one rapid and the race is on to get to the next. With my stomach in knots, I drop in and chase that next wave. We've been battling strong headwinds across large lakes for three days as we worked our way across Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. We'd caught and cooked fish, camped in beautiful places, and soaked in the warm sunshine. Along the portages we'd found rose hips, blueberries, bunch berries, and many wild mushrooms. There had been several moose, innumerable waterfowl, and even a small flock of white pelicans. We had paddled through lush forest and recent burns, with nothing more than black charred stumps and fireweed. We found dozens of pictographs, painted hundreds of years ago by ancient paddlers that plied their birch bark canoes along the same waterway. I tried to imagine those that left their handprints on these windswept rocks. Why had they done it? Did they anticipate the downstream run as much as I did? With over a hundred kilometers now behind us, we approached the border of Manitoba and the downstream run. As we approached the river, we both hoped that the juice would be worth the squeeze. this up. Should be a short swim. That's what we're here for. That is exactly what we're here for. That was great. Take on any water? Barely. Uh, we got one good splash there. So addicted to running the rapids that finish one, I just want to get to the next one. So I don't bother stopping to fish too often. But if we want to eat any more fish, we're going to have to. Bite. Hook, hooked into my first fish this trip. Just trolling down this little stretch. Feels like a little, ah, it's a little pike. A tiny little guy. snagged reeling in and no fight at all until right out of the boat and then got this guy I think I've got one on now too yeah yeah perfect there's lunch I'm not sure definitely uh, we're gonna eat this guy for sure ah, my line's gonna pinch between our boats there we go got a nice big rapid here to run not that long, but should be interesting.
pretty good drop here. Lots of potential to get very wet. go very good but kept the dry side up not exactly the line I was hoping to take but <laughs> uh, I got too far missed my turn well that was fun anyway sure beats portage doesn't it This is the biggest rapid we've come to so far. I'm a little nervous. Jay's gonna run it first and see how it goes. And then we'll see. bumps looks like he took on a lot of water so hopefully I can follow his line Just got crossed up on that last wave. Ah, dang. Good news is I needed laundry done, so clean. Oh, well, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> could have 
could have been much worse. Didn't lose any gear. Just took a little bath. That's the first time I've dumped on video. We go down through here and just tuck over we can scout the rest of it. I think I can get down over here, okay? Or just go down. It's a, it looks like a series of drops. I want to. I just want to yeah, see them right. before. I just want to see which one's the better line before I commit to going. There's a bigger one at the bottom though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, slip down the first little chute and took a look at this one. Definitely a no-go over to the river right, but. It looks like we might be able to squeak around this little island and we can't see exactly what's around the corner but there's a big eddy so the little drop to go little drop to go over and then hopefully catch that eddy we don't all die i couldn't really see a bee or anything there there's one here though See what's over there, can you? No. What do you think? coming out of this rapid and it's pretty steep the big steep drop coming into this hole and then a series of nice big waves to ride through coming through the bottom but the problem is going to be getting through that hole without swamping so bad but we just swamp there ah, that's not so bad Jay's gonna go for it That was pretty awesome. I can't believe he hit that line like that. He ran that absolutely perfectly. I'm not confident that I can do that. 
and I really don't feel like chancing another swim right now. So I think I'm just gonna haul over it. Back out on. Not a huge lake, but pretty big. Enough for the wind to slow us down a little. We have to cross this and now we're back into the river. Hopefully another rapid. We could use another swim. <laughs> another very short, but kind of large or dangerous rapid. It's a huge rock right at the bottom. And it, there's a large hole behind that rock. So, Jay just ran it and made it look very easy, but he also made the rapid I dumped on look very easy. So, so the key is here to hit this with some speed, which is counterintuitive for me. Here we go. Oh. Came a little too far right and hit that rock. What's that? I went. I got it up a little too far right. Yeah, me too. I feel like you almost do it like tuck through there. You really do it too far, right? I was surprised how fast it went. Okay. Picked up a little bit of water. We'll pull into this eddy and get rid of some of the dampness. Beat the port touch any day. Another rapid. This one doesn't look quite so bad, but. but Jay's in the river. Oh, sh How did that happen? He's upside down. All right, we're gonna try not to join him here. I come around the corner, I'm like, oh, this doesn't look too bad. Jay made it look pretty easy. <laughs> oh, wait, he's upside down. I knew it was dumb as soon as I came into it, but oh, I'm gonna go for a ride here. I mean, it's literally right at the base.
this up part of wood, but part of It's 8.30, we're finally sitting down to have dinner. I had a big bowl of biscotti and meat sauce. And Jay packed in a giant pitcher of Parmesan. So we'll hit that with a healthy dose. Speak up, they can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> a little ladle though. I'm just trying to lighten your pack here, right? <laughs> Stir that in. It is pretty light to pack though. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. It goes a long ways. Oh, I keep burning myself. Mm. I'm so hungry, but it's so hot. Oh, so good. Yeah, I just want to like, shovel this in, but it's really hot. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, this epic campsite at the bottom of two awesome waterfalls. An eagle sitting in the tree squawking behind us after a pretty awesome day. Doesn't get much better. Yep. A couple of swims. All our gear straight, stayed dry despite dumping in the river. So, yeah, everything went great. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Yeah. Probably more rapids. Mosquitoes are coming out. Dinner's supposed to be finished, but I'm still hungry. Jay's over there getting his bed set up, I guess. Trying to. Trying to. Trying to set up his tent that requires steaks and whatever. It's a new tent by Durston that he's never used before this trip. So you're supposed to be able to set it up without steaks, but I'm trying to remember how to do that. I've got myself set up on this big flat rock here, and our eagle friend is still hanging out in the tree. I think I need to eat something else, or I'm going to be awake in the night hungry. It's getting pretty dark. Fire's still going. I decided to make a pot of chili. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to scarf this down. Hmm, it's hot. So hungry. Look up to a pretty beautiful morning. Nice and warm, kind of humid, but a little sprinkle of rain falling when we woke up this morning, but that's all disappeared now. So, this rapid behind me. I've elected to portage around. I was three quarters of the way across the portage already. Jay has decided he's gonna come back and run it. So let's see how that goes. Made that look pretty damn easy. Part of me is wishing I had gone back and done that wrap after Jade made it look so easy, but I'm not quite as confident. <sighs> I'm 
pushed my limits a few times. Let's see what's up ahead. But I just realized we started paddling. This is our first day where the wind isn't howling. There's no wind at all, it's just calm. A few more mosquitoes because of that, but... Dang. I'll take this for a little while. Not far from camp, but we're into another rapid already. This one looks like a good one. Mosquitoes are still out. Got very little wind this morning. And lots of overcasts. You going first or am I? What's that? Are you going first or am I? I was gonna follow you. Okay. Doesn't matter to me though. I'm trying to remember where that. Uh... I completely forgot where we're going. Right now. Yeah, so did I. I was trying to remember. I didn't even look at it when we came back. How'd you up, end up in there? What's that? How'd you end up in there? Because I tried the other line. <laughs> I got the bail. All right. <laughs> I came flying up behind you. I'm like, I'm gonna run into him. <laughs> so I just cut to the right and then tried to drive back left. Yeah. It kind of worked. I missed the first thing. Look at the size of that thing. Dude. Woohoo! <laughs> we'll let that go though, eh? Oh yeah. That's Look at that. What a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's That's chunky. Awesome. That is. All right, buddy. Nice. <laughs> That'd be at least 10 pounds. Oh, it was heavy. another one. I'll follow Jay down this time. Thank you. 
That was fast. Hit the line just right. All well, the rain caught off of this. So I'll have to pull out our rain jackets and have a little snack. Before I think a waterfall come up. Well, we came to this island. There's um, just a little island in the middle of the river. With a waterfall going down either side. And our first thought was maybe it's not so bad. Maybe we can, like everything we look at, is it possible to run? This one, definitely not. Especially the last drop. And then we thought, maybe we could line it. No. So the last resort. We're portaging. Short though, thankfully. Just gotta watch where I'm walking here. A little bit of rain, everything's pretty slippery. a wise man who once said portaging is like hitting yourself in the head with a hammer it feels good when you stop if you know who that was leave a note in the comments let me know he was a good man gone too soon bit of a stretch of flat water to meander down now we found another rapid so can't quite see the whole thing we're gonna run the top and try and eddy out part way down let's get it around the rest of the corner Oh, well, Jay just ran around the corner and watched him do it. So I have an idea of where we want to go. Just not sure if I can get there.
don't need it. <laughs> There's an eddy just around the corner there. Yeah. through this little drop and then catch this eddy on the right because it looks like there's a steep ledge coming up after this. Yeah, definitely a ledge there. It's raining again. We stopped here on this little point, this windswept little point to have a hot meal because it's been raining all day. So, hot coffee and a little snack. The wind is actually drying us out but it's a little chilly. And we just realized that we've hit the halfway point of the trip. We're checking our mileage now and we're 150 kilometers into a 300 kilometer route. So that's good. We're right at our halfway point both in time and distance so we're, we're doing good. following somebody else in a red canoe because they've left red paint at every takeout. Try and surf on that? Which one? Hey there, baby. See if you can dump again. Yeah. Oh, so we portaged around that falls. And now we've got. A runnable stretch and then something else around the corner. I'm not sure what it is. So, got some flat water after this section. I went straight for it. <laughs> I'm already wet. Get wet? Barely. Can I get in there?
see it's the big ass rock in the middle left looks a little wider way to go. up a little bit. A little bit. I, you screwed up the bottom, I screwed up the top. I got too far left at the bottom. I got a little sideways. Kind of just caught that hole the wrong way. Hey, open side's still up. Yeah. And I guess we're not camping here. <laughs> guess not. see that last rock that I went right up on top of like like ooh, that was
gonna make that. <laughs> you can see a root through the rest of it. So, out that way. <laughs> you can make it happen. Okay. I think I know the line I want. Jay ended up going down. sideways. So, see if I can get this line here. technical now are we? Yeah. Except I'm on a terrible line. <laughs> Good. Neck and neck. <laughs> I'm just paddling along singing country roads to myself. <laughs> I'm trying to pass you. Now a quarter after seven, and we have yet to find camp. Take me home, country road, to a place I belong, West Virginia. <laughs> I forget the rest of the lyrics. Good tune though. Yeah. Thanks for putting that into my head. Switch over again. To flat water mode. If nothing else, we're having fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely oh, a sight. Beauty. Yeah. 
I think that'll do now. It's uh, 7.30. So it's reasonably flat. We'll take it. Nothing like a swim after being soaking wet all day. Get the junk cleaned up. <laughs> Backside. Pretty good night last night. Slept all right, better than the last couple. And I think if this camera will focus on me, it's time for some fresh clothes, fresh underwear, fresh T-shirt, fresh fresh socks. Five days is enough. This shirt is pretty ripe. Yesterday when we got here, we went over that way to look for a spot to put our tents. And we noticed a little piece of flagging tape hanging from a tree and it looked like something was written on it. And as we went over to look at it, it said, caution, ground nested wasps. Unfortunately, the flagging tape is hanging right on top of the wasp nest and you have to step on it in order to get to the wasp nest in order to read it. So I got stung. And we ran the hell out of there. <laughs> Thankfully, it was just one little sting. But we camped over that way all night. Which was better. But now we've got a lightly raining... Seems like it's getting a little heavier now. Hmm. Probably raincoat weather. Oh, fresh clothes feels great. Uh, T-shirt, socks, underwear. <laughs> Feel like a new man. Shave. I'm wearing a razor. No phone, no razor, and no one who cares if you stink. <sighs> because I stink. Not good.
people traveling the river have stayed in. This is a trapper's cabin. Smells like mothballs. And it looks like mothballs. Pretty rough. Yeah. Lots of stuff in here. That's a cool little cabin up here. You can use it, but just leave it as you found the it. The way you found it, right? Yeah. Not that I would really want to use it. No. I think we stayed in a little better spot last night than that. That was a, a little ramshackled. Kind of rough in there. It's a very gray, drizzly day. And just enough rain falling that eventually you're going to get really wet. Birds everywhere this morning. Got some more geese. Seen half a dozen eagles already. I've seen more eagles on this river in the last couple days than I've ever seen ever. Seems like every couple hours we pass another eagle, another immature, another adult. Seen three or four in big nests. Pretty cool. There's waterfowl everywhere, ducks and geese and swans. We saw a pelican. Those pelicans we saw last, like a few days ago. Feels like a month ago. Pretty neat. Moose. I don't know what that sound was. It gets pretty skinny through here. This is kind of a unique run. Right along the face of this waterfall. That's a unique little run. As soon as you just hit that little gap, yeah. Got a bite. Doesn't feel very heavy. Doesn't look like a fish. No. But it is. Is it? Little tiny pike? The tiniest pike. That's good bait. Wow, I've never seen a pike that small before. That's pretty cool. Is it a pike? That might be a little musky, eh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I can't even tell what that is. Pike or musky? Where this dots on? There you go, bud. <laughs> Not exactly lunch, eh? Not quite enough for lunch. Hooked into another one. And 
he's gone. Well, little walleye that time. A little bit bigger, and that would have been good for the pan. We're hoping that maybe we can have a fish for lunch today. It would be nice. This marsh we've been piling through for the last couple hours has been a really pleasant surprise. The river flattened out, and the geography around here is very, very flooded grassland, wetland area. Marshy, a lot of dead trees, but it is just full of birds, waterfowl, there's like ducks of every kind, and geese, and swans. We've lost count of the number of bald eagles we've seen today. Pretty beautiful. But we've come, uh, this on my right is a really big island and the river diverts around both sides and from what we understand most people seem to take the north channel because it might be a little bit shorter but it seems like there was more water flowing on the south side and uh, it seemed like the natural way to go so that's where we're going Let's see if we uh Get through. This is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna try and duck in right at the very brink of this very dangerous rapid. Hopefully, I don't screw this up. I think that was worth coming around the south side to see. I think that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, a little sideways, but other than that, it was all right. A little sideways, yeah. Yeah, Jay got a little crooked on the lining and caught the wave at the top. Could have gone badly, but. All worked out.
Looks like the falls up there. Oh yeah. Just looking at our options here on this next rapid it's actually listed a falls on our map and there is a, a really good drop just over the other side so the river splits on this little island that I'm standing on the problem is the very first part of this rapid is the most dangerous just up behind me right there there's a really steep drop we'd have to come through and if you dump way up there, then you've got to swim the whole rest of the rapid. There's a couple big kind of tombstone canoe catchers that are going to cause some serious problems if the boat broadsides into. So we may end up, well, I honestly don't know what we're going to do. I haven't decided. We'd like to run as much of it as we can. And I feel like below this first drop, if we dump the boat in, we'd be okay, but I don't know. You can see my canoe, we carried around the first drop up there, which was too much. I didn't think I could make it. It's a very narrow line. Jay's getting ready, he's gonna do it. So I'm down here on the rock with a throw bag and I'm at the narrowest part of the river right here behind me. So should he dump in that hole, I'm gonna throw this bag at him. Hopefully him and his canoe we can drag into this eddy behind me. Jay's all wet, but we're safe. We didn't get the rest of the rescue on camera, but. I've swam twice now. <laughs> I'm owing beers at this point. Tosh's only swam once. <laughs> Let's see if it evens out. It's not over yet. Uh, the good thing we had that rescue line and that because he would have definitely swam through the rest of this rapid. There was no getting out of that one. Safety third, right? Okay, we're in the current now. Pretty quick. I saw you went over the rock there. Yeah, I messed up. Went too far, right? Yeah, I was surprised how far you got over. Look nervous? Did I sound nervous? I was a little nervous. That's the addiction I'm talking about. That pity your stomach kind of, you know, don't screw this up, it's all on you. 
<sighs> it's fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, I could do that. I'm starving. Back and forth like that. Yeah. It's really cool in here. Yeah, I like it. Is that that rock? No, oh, what's on top of it there? No, oh, what's the thing right in front of it? Oh, is that pile of rocks? Yeah. Kind of weird. I'm sure if we had a river guide, it would tell us. We are the river guide. <laughs> you want to pull up somewhere here? We're at the next moving water. All right. Scout and lunch combo. Scout and lunch. <laughs> lunch at 3:30. Hey, buddy. Yeah. That looked pretty easy. All right, my turn. This one, there's not a whole lot of consequence for dumping other than just getting wet. So, I'm gonna try not to do that. bit of speed up for this one. If I had been braced on the other side there, I would have gone over. Yeah. If I had been leaning to the left instead of the right, that was going to take me over for sure.
Looks like there might be another drop coming up here. Not sure how steep it is, whatever. A nice straight line through it, that would be beautiful. Good. This looks fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here. There's a there's a good V, but I'm gonna stay to the left of it. Left here? Like le left of the, the chute going down. places you could be. Oh, we just piled out to a big lake. I don't mind paddling in the rain. Hopefully the thunder stays away. Sure looks like one. Looking like a camp, Jay. Looks like it's even got a screened in porch. We found that cabin late last night. About an hour before dark, and so the cabin itself we didn't go into. So the front porch was covered or wrapped in uh, bug screen. So we spent the night in there, relatively dry and bug free after just being soaking wet all day. So I'm hoping that uh, if you see this video and you own that cabin, you're not too upset about us sleeping on your front porch. Thank you for that. It was nice to get somewhere out of the rain, get changed and dried off and reasonably comfortable for the night. But now we move back down the river. Our first little rapid of the day, only 10 minutes from camp. And nice light drizzle coming down. Seems to be the theme for the last few days. Follow the drizzle. I'm gonna stand up and look at this one. Yeah. I think we can go either way, left or right. That was inconsequential. Edge running across the river. Woo! 
<laughs> it's another beautiful day in Manitoba. Manitoba. <laughs> Oh, God. Rain finally stopped and the sun's just trying to peek out a little bit. And we've come to our next obstacle. Looks like a portage there on the right. It's like a, a good drop, maybe a small falls. A little run out rapid below, but of course, we gotta take jump out, take a look, and see what's here. <laughs> like, a, like a four year old, every time the camera comes out. I got turned around there a little bit. Uh, I ended up too far over to the right and got my bow into the slack water. Kind of the eddy a little bit. That's how I ended up backwards. <laughs> Another episode of what not to do. Back on a map on Avenza now, I can see where we are. So he kept telling me the GPS signal was unavailable, and I'm not sure if that's to do with the weather or whatever, but that's why you don't rely on this stuff, right? We were able to nail down our exact location last night at the cabin, just based on the topography. And then it was on a very obvious bend on the river. But after we paddled that last little rapid, the sun came out and it was glorious. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. We were all excited thinking we were going to get a chance to dry out. And it lasted all of 10 minutes. So now we're sitting here under the clouds again. I gave up trying to fish, so Jay's taking a try. And we'll see if he has any better success than me. Fish for lunch would be nice. A little drop at the top, a little ledge. But it may brush in over it going, but over it with a little bit of speed, I think we'll be fine.
soak up a little moisture. Just crossed over the river to the other side where we had our little fish fry. See if there's a line here, but it's it's very rocky and shallow. Jake might be able to find a route to get down, but I think I'm just gonna line my boat down, slide it down nice and easy, be gentle, and, you know, how I like to do things. for you. So there's two channels around this giant rock behind me. One on river right over here that I'm about to go up and go through is pretty narrow but easy water. There's a couple little channels. It's kind of shallow. A few rocks that I'll probably bump against. But worst case scenario, I get wet up to my knees. Other side has a huge drop, a big hole to bust through. Jay is gonna go that way. To be honest, I'm tired. I feel really tired today. I didn't sleep well. And I just, I'm gonna take this simpler route. I'm not really in the mood for swimming right now. So, we'll squeak through here a little bit. This is where it gets a little shallower. See how he does.
No problem. Well, I'm up, right? There's a big eddy down the river on the right before the next drop. Sideways? Side by side? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try to drop back a little bit. going though. This is cool through here with all this rock. Yeah. It'd be a ranger in the spring. Oh man, this would be massive. Another one there, eh? Oh, it is. Might be a longer one, actually. I don't even know where we scout this one from yet. Yeah? The boat. <laughs> the worst that could happen. We all die. Probably better if we both die. It kind of sucks if just one person dies and another person has to deal with that. Yeah. Falling in the yeah. Whatever. So if we see that one person's gonna die, we have to like throw ourselves in with. <laughs> if you die, I promise I won't suffer from survivor guilt. <laughs> I'll be okay. Like I told him not to run it. <laughs> he's an idiot. Oh, he knew he was an idiot. <laughs> Just kidding. When have I told you not to run something? <laughs> I only do do that, Josh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think. But you got this, man. I don't think you've ever said those words. straight down the center, eh? Yeah. Just came across this awesome campsite. Beautiful open spot on a little point. A little rapid going down behind us and a huge big colored cliff with all the different water line marks going up the other side. There are quite a few mosquitoes. Well, we 
pick you up. <laughs> Only need to work the wrong rapid. <laughs> yeah, once you get around the corner, that way. Oh, you're good. Ugh. I don't really float. I'm not a floater. Neither am I, but I gotta, gotta keep yourself up there. I'm going head first. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be shallow. This is how we both die. I'm going to I'm laughing so hard, I'm joking. <laughs> Ah. Oh, it's beautiful once you get in. <laughs> yeah, this is shallow. Here, though. Yeah, see you. Oh, dude, I needed this. Just finished dinner of pork tenderloin and roasted potatoes, which was delicious. But now we're going to have some tea, and hopefully our campsite facing due west, we're finally going to get an epic sunset tonight. I think, maybe, if we're lucky. Things were looking beautiful for quite a while, and now all to the north around our campsite is just booming with thunder. Basically, like from the west all the way across the north sky, there's a big front moving in. We're hoping that it's going to pass us by, but we're just getting things squared away and buttoned down just in case. Just in case we get some more moisture. That was the longest, wildest thunderstorm I've ever experienced while camping. Holy cow. This is just crazy lightning thunder tons of rain but now there's another issue I kept feeling something like crawling on me in the night I wake up like something's on my face something's on my arm whatever like but I couldn't find it I couldn't see it turn on a light couldn't see it now I get up and I look around in daylight and the tent is just covered in these little it looks like pepper. There's little black dots everywhere. There's thousands and thousands of them all over my tent from one end to the other. And they're crawling all over everything. I have no idea what they are. Anyway, I'm going to try and get them out of here. 
Yeah, I can shake them out or something. But I gotta get packed up. <sighs> They're everywhere. Very windy, cool morning. I'm trying to turn my tent inside out and persuade whatever the heck those little things were to leave. I still feel like I've got them on me. Oh. Barrel all covered in dirt. Yeah, all those flashbacks from last night, eh? be a tailwind today has turned into a headwind. That was a wild storm last night. Holy cow. That was crazy. I've never experienced anything like that while I was here. The amount of lightning that was just booming. Thunder, lightning. Woke me up three or four times. Pretty great. Now we stopped to take a quick look at this one. Doesn't look too bad, but maybe a little bit shallow towards the bottom. Next rapid is basically a falls, but it does have a nice straight line that terminates in a big curling wave. Probably like Jay's thinking 90% chance he'd dump, which is probably 99% chance I would dump. 
and it's a gray, cold, windy day. I know we came here for this sole purpose of running rapids, but whatever. I feel like a bit of a wuss chickening out on this one. If it was a nice sunny day, maybe it'd be a lot of fun. The sun poked out and Jay decided that he's going to try it. So I'm down here on this side in case he ends up in the water. He picked up a lot of water, but he stayed upright. Man, he came very close to going over there. I'm wishing that maybe I had a run. Oh well, there'll be more. I can't see the line at all. doing this but holy mackerel does it make me nervous
This is a pretty huge rapid. It's a little longer than the, what we've been doing already. And there's a lot of stuff in here. I would probably call this like class four. Bunch of big holes, bunch of big waves. Not something I want to monkey around with out here this far from anything. So I'm either going to line or lift over and try and work my way down the shoreline if I can. We lifted over the first part. Now we're going to try and squeak through this shallower section and miss the nasty stuff if we can. Some people have gone north. Well, I think we're going to try the middle channel. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? Now? Yeah, from the right. The channel there. That's the north channel? Yeah. It's gotta be. 
we're all back together in one happy river. Oh yeah, real big one coming up. I feel like that was sarcasm. It may have been. <laughs> Keep your helmet on though. <sighs> the helmet's not to protect me. <laughs> protect everyone else. <laughs> How close to the edge? Yeah. How close left do you need to be? Uh, you see it when you get close to the of the You're going down right down the left past left of that rock sticking up there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Clearly not going to be running that one. Lift over our boats on the rocks here. But what a beautiful spot. This huge big cliff up here. And then this. This is listed on my map as a rapid. But it's a lot more waterfall than rapid if you ask me. Wow. Pretty epic. didn't feel like right coming around that rock. Felt like I was not gonna make it around that rock, but uh. it felt like I was way too close to that rock coming around there. I'm like, I'm I'm either gonna go over into this hole or whatever. Like, I heard you say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tried to find the line around this rapid. Check either side, there's an island in the middle, so we scouted both sides. And nope, nothing that even Jay feels confident running, so nothing that I'm gonna try. 
late in the day and neither of us really feels like spending the last bit of the day soaking wet and cold. So there's nothing for it but to pour touch. Sometimes it's the only way to get done. But thankfully, for most of the stuff we couldn't run on this one, everything is short. Shallow rocky stretch here. Pretty rocky or what? Yeah, a bit. Over on the left doesn't look so bad. sun just broke out from behind the clouds. We've hardly seen the sun in the last three days, three and a half days. I don't know. Seems like it's been a long time. There's, sky is just clearing of all clouds. Oh, feels so good. Amazing. A little change in the weather can do. Mosquitoes are getting bad tonight, but we've got this epic spot that Jay found with an awesome view of the river. We're way up on this big flat rock, kind of in the middle of a burn, but we're far enough away from most of the trees that I think they're only going to land on Jay. But it's a beautiful evening, even if the bugs are out, there's mosquitoes and black flies out here, believe it or not. Getting ready to have some freeze dried spaghetti as soon as my water boils, which it looks like it's just about to. Looks like she's boiling now. Freeze dried spaghetti from home. I'll let that sit a little bit and enjoy the view. Looks like we're going to have a sunset tonight for the first time in a while because we're seeing the sun for the first time in a few days. A brief glimpse yesterday afternoon, but other than that, it's been cloudy and pretty rainy. We're both hoping for a much quieter night than we had last night. All that thunder and lightning, not neither of us got a whole lot of sleep. Oh, that is hot. Who would have thought that fire was so hot? Huh, dude? No, I'm trying to stir it. Oh. I'm doing r real cooking, gourmet. <laughs> gourmet KD. Craft dinner and uh, moose pepperettes. Actually, sounds pretty good.
Fine early start. <laughs> our, our latest start of the trip. 10.15. Took a very leisurely breakfast and soaked up a bit of sun. Dried out our tents from all the mist and fog. It was a awesome, beautiful morning. Very kind of like mystical. I don't know. What's the word, Jay? What's the word I'm looking for? It's like an eerie feeling. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool to be in that, all that burned timber and all in the mist and watch the world slowly wake up. I think you had to fight to get down river when paddling by this. A lot of this river is more like a lake. It's a long, skinny lake, and today we went around a big dog leg heading southwest, thinking, oh, we might have a tailwind for a little while, but and you know the wind is coming straight out of the southwest all day today. So even though we're heading downstream, we have to fight for every inch of this. The sun's still shining, beautiful and warm. I don't know which I'd rather have right now though. Calm rainy day or a windy sunny day. It's a hard choice. Now this is pretty cool. This piece of wood. Pretty cool. This piece of wood got washed up there in the spring flood. Somehow it just stayed balanced up top. What are the odds of that log just sitting up there? Oh, this wind is something else. My shoulders shouldn't be this sore this early in the day. <laughs> I think it's I think it's cumulative. An hour and a half in my shoulders jacked right up. Yeah. Oh, I might bust out a JR. <laughs> I was trying to resist, but... <laughs> our Jolly Rancher supply has dwindled and it's kind of become our our go-to little pick-me-up along the trip. And we're both playing very well for this trip. We're both down to, I'm down to only a couple. Rangers. I think I was a little too loose with the somebody. Jolly Rancher ration early in the trip. And now I'm down to just a couple of days. too big of a hole in there to run. Now I just gotta try and get out of this eddy without getting pulled back into this wave.
nice little lunch break on this rock. So, this is an island to my right. And we came down around the north side of it. It's a very small island. Hoping that we could maybe run through that. And there isn't really a great line. There isn't really a line at all. So we're gonna paddle back around this little island. Take a look at the channel on the other side. Maybe it's runnable. We're both kind of itching for something because we haven't found anything runnable yet today and I'm starting to wonder if there's anything runnable left on this river. Hit the SOS button on your inreach. <laughs> I have to. I can't get out of the slimy. Uh, what a couple of morons. <laughs> uh, I think we're both getting pretty tired. Tired of fighting the headwind. Go down river. Is it too much to ask for the river to do some of the work? Finally. Something we can run. around a little bit. Jay decided he was going to try and surf that wave and got caught sideways. Wait a good laugh. <laughs> Pretty cool through this area. Can't imagine. It's pretty neat through here. It's in high water. Most of this is underwater. Making a little LMNT drink. This stuff is delicious out here. We found a great spot here tonight, right along the side of Neme Rapids. So we thought about running this, and this site was just too good to pass up. So I've got myself set up back here. And I got the tent up and everything. Threw up a little bit of laundry to dry, and an awesome view of the river. Beautiful set of rapids. We'll run this first thing tomorrow morning. It looks like it's going to be a pretty fun run. Not really, really long, but longer than a lot of the stuff we've been running so far. So that's kind of cool. And then Jay's just over there behind me. He's decided to camp down by the water. Camp down on the rock there. Got a pretty good spot.
definitely not losing any weight on this trip. Trying not to. Oh, I definitely won't. <laughs> Hopefully upright. Beautiful blazing sun out here. It didn't look too bad. Thankfully that worked out.
That was a cool little run back there. I was able to put the boat exactly where I wanted to, so that made me happy. Just drifting with a little bit of current and a nice tailwind right now. Feels pretty nice. Just get around the corner from one and we go up to another rapid. But this one looks pretty small. From here anyway. Definitely feeling more confident now after all these days on the river. Jay and I jump out and we take a quick look and assess a couple different options. Choose a line that we both like to run. Not always the same line, but we feel pretty good. Beside this little rapid for lunch and found this sitting here. I think that is a snapping turtle as best as I can tell anyway. And it's enormous. Like it's the size of my head. That's one huge turtle. You can't get over the size of this thing. I've never seen a turtle that big before. And you put everything else over that a shell. That's a giant turtle. afternoon. We heard something just across the river. My first thought was coyotes. But 
I never heard a coyote bark like that before. I don't know. Could have been. Hopefully they don't keep us up all night. Packed up for the last time. That shovel driver should be here. Well, we're meeting him in a few hours. Very gray, dull day. Well, that was the final campsite on the river for the final time. Why my paddle so short? And it wouldn't be a day on the blood vein without a strong headwind. <laughs> Straight into it. That was pretty cool seeing those otters. I had no idea we were there until they were almost on top of us. That's pretty sweet. Pretty cool to see an animal coming towards you like that. Most of the animal shots I've got over the years are from the rear end disappearing into the woods or the water. They usually pick up on you first.
Well, there it is. That is Lake Winnipeg out behind me. That's one huge lake. That was quite a trip. Uh, a pretty awesome river. Lots of cool white water. I ran some bigger stuff than I've ever run before, and I'm really happy about that. Had a great time out here with Jay. So check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description to Jason Baines on YouTube. He's got some uh, great videos over there, and you might even see another his version of this trip up there eventually. So thanks for coming along, folks. We'll see you on the next one. Now we just wait for our shuttle driver to arrive. I know that's good. The lacing? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Well, mm -hmm. Where do you want it, Jay? Uh, probably about there. It's good, actually. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I guess we'll just sort them out when we get to. Uh... Yeah, I got two bears out. It wasn't way it was here.